Hello, welcome to part one of the new Half-Life tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be explaining how to set up a Half-Life mod to get it to appear in Steam. All the required software is linked in the description, and if you have a non-Steam copy of Half-Life there's also a link at the top of the description which will take you to a tutorial. Before we start, I'd like to inform you that there are many tutorials available at sites like TWHL and SourceModding.com. Please, please do check these out when you can, as I cannot cover absolutely everything on this channel as much as I'd like to. This tutorial series is just a primer to get you into modding with Half-Life. Once again, there's links in the description. Okay, so to begin, you'll need to install Steam and have purchased a copy of Half-Life and have that in your Steam library. Once Steam is installed, you can go ahead and run it. Okay, so here we are in the Steam library. Um, now Steam's installed and running, we can look at Half-Life here in, our, in the game section of our library and we need to click on install to install it if you haven't already. Okay, so once Half-Life is installed, we can go about setting up our mod. So to do this, we're going to have to navigate to our Steam directory. So first we go to the start menu, computer. For most of you, I expect it to be on the C drive and then in program files or program files x86. However, as I've installed Steam on the D drive, then my path will be a bit different. And Steam, okay. So once you've found your Steam installation directory, you can scroll down and go in the Steam apps folder. And then you can go into common. And if you scroll down, hopefully as Half-Life is now installed, you should see the Half-Life folder. This is the Half-Life installation directory, so if you go in here, what we can do in here is create a folder for our mod. So, new folder, and we can name it whatever we want. So I'm going to call mine example underscore mod. Hit enter, there we go. I should mention at this point, before we do anything else, make sure your your name for this folder does not have any spaces in. I repeat, no spaces, as um, sometimes Half-Life um, has an issue trying to find um, mod directories and stuff um, which have spaces in. So try to make sure you use underscores instead, instead of spaces or just don't use spaces at all. Okay, so now we created that. I'm actually going to open up another duplicate window of the file browser. So if we go up here and just copy this um, path and start computer again and paste it into this file browser, then we have two windows of the Half-Life installation directory. From here, if we go into Valve in one of the browsers and what we can see here at the top are two folders. What we want to do is we want to take copies of these and put them in our own mod. So if we right click copy and go into your, your mod folder, so in my case I called it example underscore mod, and then once you're in there, right click, paste. Okay, so we can now get rid of the other file browser in the valve directory, and we're left with our mod directory with these two folders we just copied over. What these two folders contain are basically, uh, we call them libraries, which are basically just files which can contain the code that Half-Life uses. What we need to do now is tell Steam some information about the mod itself. So what we need to do is create a little text document, which is like a configuration file. And I'm going to call this liblist and then rename the extension from .txt to .gam. Uh, yes, change the extension. There we go. A liblist.gam file is just, just a text file. It's just got a different extension name. What we're going to do now is Right click this, um, you do open with to open it with notepad or whatever text editor you use. However, as I have notepad++ installed, I'm going to just say edit with notepad++. So once your preferred text editor is open and you've opened this liblist.gam file, you'll start by giving a title for our mod. If we type in game on the first line, space, double quotes, and then whatever title you want, um, I'm just going to call mine my hl mod. There we go. So what, what we have here is a title which will appear in our Steam library. And now we've done that, we also need to um, put in game dir 
or game directory and this will tell Steam uh, exactly where our mod directory is just to make sure that it's got the right place. Um, so we called our folder, or I called my folder example underscore mod. You would put whatever you called the uh, mod folder in there. Okay, so now we've done that. Um, I'm going to talk about maps. In regular default vanilla Half-Life, when you launch the game, the first map you launch into is the one of the chain in, so it has a little title pop up. You can actually change the start map um, to your own map, which is what this line is for. So if you type in start map, space, and then put in uh, two double quote marks. And we're just going to leave it blank for the time being because we don't actually have our own map to place in it at the moment. However, in a, in a future tutorial, when I'll come back to this file and we'll change it so that we can make, we make a map and we can have that appear when we create a new game in our Half-Life mod. That's the start map, so the map you start off with. Exactly the same thing for the, uh, the hazard course map, so we call it chain map. Um, I'm, again, I'm going to leave this blank because I haven't created a map file yet. Once we've done that, we need to do perhaps the most important part of uh, this config file is point to the link library, link library files which we're using. So if you type in game dll space double quotes, and then um, the folders which we copied over, we just need to type in dlls, which is this folder here, and then inside here. See, we've got a bunch of files. The one we're interested in is this one right here called hl.dll. So, dlls backslash hl.dll. We can also add some, as you can see, there's a few extra files in here. We can add support for Linux with the .so file and the dy lib file as well for um, OSX Mac. Um, we can do that really easily in here as well. Oops. So game dll underscore linux adjust dll same folder and then hl.so because the .so is the equivalent of a dll file for Windows but in Linux uh, and then for Mac OS OSX dll game dll underscore OSX dlls dash hl dot dui lib there we go. And I believe if you need to type in client and then double quotes one, it's not really that important, but and chuck it in there just in case. Okay, so now we've done that. We've got a nice mod folder set up. We've finished this file now. This is all we need, all eight lines. So yeah, we're, we're basically done. Make sure you save the file if you haven't already. I, I hit control S regularly, so <laughs> that's already saved for me. Um, and close that text editor. And you can close this file browser. Close Steam. And exit exit it completely. I'll just minimize that. And now we can restart it. Okay, so here we are back in Steam, Half-Life. Now if you go to your games library and you scroll down, you should see. There we go, here in the M section. Got my HL mod. And there it is. It's appeared in our Steam library, so that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple setup. You just need to create a config file and copy a couple of folders over, uh, and you're done. So that will conclude part one. In part two, I'll um, cover setting up Hammer, which is a level editor, basically, so you can create your own levels, your own maps, and we'll go on from there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to find out when my next video releases. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.